Hey, hey, good people. Arthur Morris here. I hope all is well. Uh, this video, we, we're going to solve this rational equation uh, that simplifies to a linear equation for x. We have 2 equals 3 over 7 minus 6 over x. Again, if you see a variable in your denominator, you need to identify your excluded value or values. In this case, it's only one. So you, whatever expression that variable is in, uh, then you take that expression and set it equal to zero. So x equals zero in this case. So the only number that, once I solve this equation, the only thing that x cannot be equal to is zero. If it is equal to zero, then my answer is no solution. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Now we want to uh, find our least common multiple of our denominators. Our denominators are seven and x. So the least common multiple of 7 and x of those factors would be 7x. So, okay, so multiply both sides by 7x. So you have 7x times 2 equals uh, 3 over 7 times 7 times x minus 6 over x times 7 times x. Right, so 7x times 2. Let's go ahead and clear the fractions first. All right, so here, uh, 3 over 7 times 7 times x, the 7s will cancel each other out. So I'm left with 3 times x. And then for the second fraction, I have 6 over x times 7 times x. So the x's will cancel each other out, and I'm left with 6 times 7. All right, so 7x times 2 will give us 14x. 6 times 7 will give us 42. And now we want to solve this equation. So let's uh, combine our variable terms. So let's subtract 3x from both sides. And last but not least, let's divide both sides by 11. All right, we know that cannot be simplified, so we leave it just like that. All right, so again, we, and that's not our excluded value, so we're good, but what we did, we found the least common multiple of our denominators, which was 7x. We multiplied everything by 7x, simplifying to clear the fractions, and then we solved the equation. All right, good people, hope you found this video to be helpful, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.